Hello, howdy. Welcome to yet more Curb. As I do Kirby's Dreamland 3. I love this intro. I shouldn't waggle my head in front of it, should I? <laughs> Secretly, I've always wanted to draw a little parody, I guess, of this intro. But Earthbound flavored. It's been so long since I first thought of it that I don't remember exactly what I would have put in each panel, but I thought about it a long time ago. I don't know, maybe someday I'll actually do it. Yet again, DDD has no idea what's going on. <laughs> well, probably knows more than Gooey. Gooey is the definition of just vibing. It's like Gooey ate the fish and then spit the bones back out, good boy. This has your favorite Kirby character or a version of them. Oh ho? What is your favorite Kirby character? What is everyone's favorite Kirby character? Aside from Kerbo himself. Hang on, is there anything I need in the options? There's just sound. Never mind. Yes, instead of a massive darkness, we have a demonic fetus. Exactly. It's exactly what I want. Kirby games should do these little intros again. They're cute. Oh, The ice dragon is very cute. I feel a little bad when I beat it up. Just a little. Alright. So. Oh yeah, that's right. Goobert. Hello, Goobert. Goodbye, Goobert. This is gonna be weird to play now. Like, wow, I can tap the jump button to fly! Oh, the advancements in Kirby technology. Ow! This game has such cute art. Um, I believe it was the last Super Nintendo game released in North America in 97, if memory serves. Right on the cusp of the N64. I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take Rick, because I felt bad. Nago looks so scandalized, but what are you gonna do about it? Waddle is a good choice. Bling. Um... But yeah, so... This game looks very good because it came out, you know, at the end of the uh, Super Nintendo's life cycle. I think maybe the last uh, first party, I should say, this was the last first party Super Nintendo game released in North America. I think the last one released in Japan might be Fire Emblem Thrakia 776, but I might be wrong on that one. And I gotta, I gotta get the pair. God. Bleh. 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 Got it. Adeline is like Christopher Robin to Kirby's poo bareness. Boyo, but like, oh bother. I say, oh bother, unironically, myself. And I've had people say, oh, like Winnie the Pooh? I didn't even think about that. Adeline fan club gold member. Gosh, I wish Carrie was here. Because I think Carrie would be too. So, much like Dreamland 3 and Kirby 64, which are part of the Dark Mal Maller <laughs> Dark Matter trilogy. There is a good and a bad ending uh, acquired by getting all the MacGuffins du jour, in this case being Heart Stars. So I'm going to skip the very first one so we can see both endings. And uh, to that note, heck flowers. Heck flowers. No. I don't have to squish all of them, but I'm going to. Nope. They're just enjoying life, and then suddenly this hamster... One of these... What was... I think it was Val who mentioned it last time, that... Scientists have been engineering these super aggressive hamsters. These predatory hamsters. Ah. Unfortunately, I cannot squish this one and wipe out the bloodline. The Uchiha bloodline ends here. I don't know what I want. Ugh. I guess I could have gotten the one up, but I'm like, let's just go far. Did I hear that a horror-themed poo film is in the works? What? Pull the trigger, piglet. 
coming to a big screen near you. Ah, dang it. I don't mean to do that. Hang on. Oh, okay. Okay, Goobert. I don't want Goobert, but I can't inhale Goobert when I have a hamster. Well, I guess Gooey's just here. I was pressing A because that was my button to inhale things for Dreamland 2, and now I have to get used to another control scheme. Oh, well, hamster ball. By stomping the flowers, I have failed said objective. Good. Good. Where's that clip of Zelda from the CDI Zelda games? Good! Makes me laugh every time. These graphics are reminding you so much of Ham Ham Heartbreak. I would absolutely stream a Hamtaro game. Okay, goodbye, Rick. The octopus reigns supreme. Yeehaw. <laughs> Gooey just licks pitch. Um... Yeah, I would absolutely stream a Ham Taro game. I actually quite like Ham Ham's Unite on the Game Boy Color and Ham Ham Heartbreak on the Game Boy Advance. But would people complain also? Oh, I don't have the right ability. I need Parasol for this, I think. No, I don't. No, I don't. So what do you think you have to do here? No, I don't know what this thing is. It's like a butt spring. I'm gonna just get rid of that and I'm just gonna gently caress. There we go. I wish I- you know, actually, I don't wish I knew what that is. I don't want to know. Whoop. Whoop. Also, please observe that while Choo Choo is riding Kirby, he has this weird blissed up look- blissed out look on his face, like she's just pumping him full of neurotoxins. I mean, I think she's an octopus, maybe. And that is, I think, within the realm of possibility. <laughs> oh no, you hate him? You hate him? What, the butt spring? What? What, Bell? Say it. Q screeching from Breath of the Wild's crazy flower lady. So, hello, Andorra. I really wish I could roll my R's so I could do a Robotnik voice, but I can't. Look at Gooey's face whenever he lands from a jump. Blech. No, do it, do it, Gooey. Don't move. There we go. Good boy. Excuse me. Choo Choo's the Pokemon Nialego? Nialego? Nialego. Never heard it said out loud. I mean, I know it comes from Ego, but I want to say Nialego. Point is... Oh yeah, Choo Choo can climb on ceilings. I don't think... I don't think anyone is shaping their daughter to look like Choo Choo. Probably. Uh, if you do... Call me, I want to talk. No, I don't, actually. That's between you and your therapist. And I guess your daughter. The needle things originate in those, this game. The the ones that look so cute until you're above them. I used to draw those a lot. These guys. I was looking at the bestiary in Kirby 64 years ago trying to draw enemies from it. And I like drawing those guys because they were simple and I could remember what they look like. You love Ham Ham Heartbreak so much, you haven't played it in like 15 years, but it was amazing. It's good, isn't it? To not. To not. It's not even funny. Not even funny. Um, yeah, maybe I will stream a Ham Taro game at some point. I just worry that people would complain. Like, oh, why are you playing this baby game? Look, the Ham Taro games are genuinely good. Oh, well, at least the first couple of them are. I think there's some, like, later releases that are genuinely very baby. God, why does everyone look so sad when I'm not friends with them? And no, Gooey can't ride one either. There's a strict one-animal-buddy rule. <laughs> I like Kine is so funny. Look, Kine. We've... Actually, you know what? No, no. I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. Heck, birds. Eh. Fish? Kai can actually move online competently now. Praise be. All hail the fish bulb. It's not a projectile weapon anymore, but I can shank people with the shattered glass. And isn't that just as good? Oh my gosh, I got a bot. I haven't gotten a bot in so long. Hang on, I need to get rid of this bot. 
Oh, I'm so sad. It's like, ooh, first time chat, and it's a bot. Oh, well. Yes, gift a sub to the bot. All right. See ya. There we go. Screw dark matter. Mother Beast Lusa means the ultimate secret Kirby boss. I liked a lot of things, ow, <laughs> about Sun and Moon, but the fact it wimped out on fighting Lusamine, and if you if you play, you know what I mean. When it's wimped out on fighting Lusamine, that was like the biggest letdown. This is a little dicey to do with Kine. So boy, I feel so bad. I step on those things and they just explode like that. Like, stepping on an insect. Oh, hello, Darth! Welcome back! Alright, I should pay attention. Let's crowdsource this. That person might have been legitimate! They always want to sell me followers, but they never offer to buy my followers off of me. I don't know, how much is everyone's loyalty worth? I'd buy you. Although, I hope I don't have to buy you back. Oh, how lucky it's the same one. This guy needs some new material. Right? That Lusamine non-fight was unforgivably cowardly. What a letdown. There's a lot of things that Sumo did that I enjoyed, but that... That was definitely, you know, I can't even really say it's a mark against it. It's just like, you were so close. So close to greatness. When will Pokemon actually let me fight a real person? Why can't I just take out my Crobat and have them leech blood off a real person? Come on. Hire me to design your games, Game Freak. You know what this guy looks like? He looks like... What is the default name of the little robot buddy in Live Alive? I know the fan translation, I think it was Cube. And I think in Japanese it was Koro. Ah, dang it. I got a smug orb. There's a hard drive article that's something like man in Instagram comments can't understand why nobody cares that he's giving away thousands of dollars. I'm sorry, Instagram man. Why is there like one block up there? Hang on, Kine. I need to... Alright. That was a good use of my time. Whoa. Giant Kaboo! Hang on, I feel bad for this cloud. Be- oh. I was gonna say be free. Never mind. You were free briefly. Doesn't quite count because you can't command them. Oh, that's, sorry, I'm reading this out of order. Shadow Pokemon and Colosseum, they attack a couple humans, but it doesn't count because you can't command them to do so on your behalf. Well, it's a start. One of these days I gotta play ah, Colosseum and XD. Oh, stop. Stop. Do I need Cutter? I don't know, but let's get it. Bush. All powerful fish. Do I need either of you? No, I'm gonna keep the fish, just out of spite. They are more free than us all now. Oh, which one? Which one? It's never the one I choose, this one. Yeah, alright, I'll take the tomat. A fanfic you read like 15 years ago in which people holding Arceus pl Ar Arceus cripes even so many years later. I'm not sure to pronounce it. Gain powers related to that type. See, that's an interesting concept, though. Now, somebody just needs to get, like, the question mark, the curse type. I want to see what that happens, or what happens with that. Oh, hang on. Can I get a rock from you? Nope. Oh, bats. Ugh. Huh. <laughs> Kine and Cutter is basically the inverse between the two games. It is, isn't it? 
Like the, the shape of the beam is more different. Hello. This is not really a great power to fight you with, but well, maybe it is. Huh. Kind forcing himself to amble about on land in ways that no loving god intended. Well, as has been established in Dreamland 2. Heck, I need I think I needed that. Oh well. As has been established in Dreamland 2, Kirby has killed before and will kill God again. Monkey. One is slow and expands as it goes out, and the other is fast and shrinks. Yeah, okay, it is the inverse. Ugh, this is not really the most effective thing to fight with. But it looks less painful than Rock was in Dreamland 2 for Kine. Excuse me, excuse me. Ow. You don't have to shoot me, you know. You have options. Ugh. I really like the pastel look this game has. I appreciate that there's several Super Nintendo games that tried to go for a really interesting art style. Ah, uh, no, that was... that was more than a net loss. Um, like this one, Yoshi's Islands. One could even argue stuff like Star Fox, although that one kind of hurts to look at after a while. Maybe if they... dang it, re-released the original Star Fox, but like 60 FPS? There's a couple ways to become the curse type in the real game, like having a fire type use burn up. Oh. I was not aware. I had it in my head that they were, well, I know they removed like the sprites for the curse type Ar Arceus, Arceus, Arceus. Look, my usual litmus test for how to pronounce a Pokemon's name is Whatever the Pokemon Stadium announcer says, the opposite of that. Some of those pronunciations are burned in my brain, like Arcanine. Ponita. So these characters are from, I believe, another HAL game. I don't remember their names, though. Apparently, this girl actually appears in Dreamland 2 in the Japanese version where we saw that pink bow-wearing gooey. Dang it. Missing now intensifies. You want to become the forbidden bird type. I am able to mash A to fly in this game, yes, thank goodness. How many of you did that glitch back in Pokemon Red and Blue? Um, you know, the old man glitch where you Something like you talk to him and then you fly to Cinnabar Island and then you surf along the uh, eastern Cinnabar coast and you encounter uh, both Missing No and then like some other glitched Pokemon at an unreasonable level. I remember some of us in school were seeing what Pokemon we got. I got Charmeleons at like level 116 or something. Beautiful. Also a heck. These Hershey's kisses of death, they cannot hurt me anymore. I know some other kid got star uh, Starmies. I can't remember the rest, though. I think there was another kid that got Snorlaxes. Wrecked that Hall of Fame? Oh, yeah. No mercy. Never saved after doing it on your game, though. Didn't want your Hall of Fame stats corrupted. That's fair. That was probably sensible. But I remember at the time I liked... Oh, that's not what I want to do. I want this. I just wanted to mess around with glitches. Like, I had a first edition copy of Ocarina of Time. Like, the gold one? Actually, I'm gonna switch her cutter here. So I could pull uh, off the Swordless Link glitch. Where after Ganon knocks away the Master Sword um, from Link in the final ba battle, you save and quit. And then you can do some weird stuff out in the field, like using weapons aside from the bow while you're on Epona. I have a recollection of like a zombie link glitch. And probably some other things that I'm forgetting. But that was a fun game to mess around in. Yeah, Hershey's kisses are in this game too, but they don't immediately obliterate your animal companion. Which is partly why I was so taken aback by them in, uh, 
Dreamland. Uh, I just realized Dreamland 2. I think I was supposed to have Kine. I have just been barreling through this without thought, but I realized I need Kine with me. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Ooh, sorry. Has anyone in here played Pokemon Fool's Gold? I would like to hear more about this. I assume a ROM hack. I'm gonna redo that really quickly. I'm so sorry. I was too busy thinking about Pokemon. And then right at the end, I'm like, oh wait, I have to bring Kai to the end of the stage. Sorry. Sorry, strange pink fish. Other kind. Cooler kind. Lonely dried up fish. Well, maybe if they too could shank people with a broken light bulb, they wouldn't be so lonely. Ku can keep a fish company. Ku has appeal. Ku will eat a fish. Am I gonna have to cut a fish? Ku would. Like, that's gotta be an issue, right? Or Nago. Nago would eat kind. Choo Choo um, has just been slowly digesting Kirby every time she's on his head. But she's a little more subtle about it. It takes time. High on a hill was a lonely, dried up fish. I walked into a waddle deep for that. Worth it. Anyway, the music here is good, so I don't mind redoing this. Do, 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 do. Whoa, excuse me. Ah, jeez, jeez. The Johto starters, for example. Oh, okay, let me read this in order. Fool's Gold is a crystal ROM hack. Well, I get this heart star, which alters all Pokemon types and artwork and adds a significant amount of additional content. Oh, that sounds really cool. The Johto starters are Fighting Chikorita, Ice Cyndaquil, and Flying Totodile. I want a Flying Gator. I mean, the other the concepts for the other two are really great too. Although I feel a little bad for Ice Totodile just because. Ice is one of those types where I like the design of a lot of Pokemon, but mechanically it's got some unfortunate weaknesses. But I need a flying gator. Do I want either of you? Let's let's get Rick. Are the new types randomized? Good question. You feel like all of Kirby's friends present less danger of devouring. Thank <laughs> Kirby. Okay, but Kirby wouldn't eat them, though. Like, they trust them. Or they trust Kirby, rather. Kirby's cool, right? Kirby would not eat a hamster. You wouldn't eat a hamster. Look, it's known that hamsters cannibalize each other, alright? Kirby is not gonna devour Rick in this instance. Probably. If he got really peckish. I wonder if those spider enemies really bothered some people. I don't need this, but I'm gonna get it anyway. Oh, I have to get rid of Cutter. Eh, there we go. Get in there! Get in there! You're so round! Emergency food. Oh, I gotta press to the wall. No randomizer for the hack. It's the same change types each time. That's still really cool, though. Are there other altered types? I assume there are. What have they done to Dunsparce? Have they made Dunsparce even greater? Suchinoko, real. There's a lot of Pokemon that debuted in Gen 2 that I forget debuted in Gen 2. Like Dunsparce or Wooper. Or Smeargle. Why my Smeargle in particular, though, my brain always thinks it was Gen 3. Maybe because I never really used Smeargle. I remember contemplating it for some kind of, like, gimmick builds, but actually trying to teach it the moves I wanted with Sketch got frustrating. So I did not- whoops. Actually, I need to get rid of that so I can open this, but... Ugh. It's like the easy mode version of that... One rainbow drop with kind, which we will never speak of again. Dunsparce is fire steel now. It's a burning hex nut thing. That's so cool. Thank you, creator of Fool's Gold, for making Dunsparce even more powerful. Can I get up here? Yes, I can. 
Yes, I know Dunsparce is not an inherently powerful Pokemon, but like spiritually, psychologically, oops, excuse me, ow. That, that arrow was inert. I shouldn't have taken damage from that arrow. That's the law of video games. After a projectile has ceased moving, I shouldn't take damage from it. You only remember Smeargle and Unown were in the same place. Okay, Nago, you're making me uncomfortable. Fine. Fine. <sighs> I don't like Cutter and Nago, though. It's at a weird angle. But who am I to say no to a fat cat? Blah. You just can't do it. Oh, I was gonna give everyone a Cosmo update because he was snoozing on the back of the couch last I looked. But he's left. Fine, be that way. Go nap somewhere else. I don't even need that. Why am I going up there? I can just drop down. Why, well, these moles are kind of uncomfortable. I think they're moles. Tree parasites? Even that spider thing is from this game. Does 64 have anything original? 64's got 02. That's something. And crystal shards? Does this game have crystal shards? Oh my god. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, the Nago bloodline ends here. See ya. <laughs> you think she could just climb up the side? You know, cat claws. You forgot Nago? Well, she is only in this game. If you don't count the uh, the stone statues from 64. I don't think I really appreciated at the time how... I don't want to say derivative 64 was from this game. I'm more that they're just so intrinsically linked. Even this song is actually in 64. Like, if you remember the level where uh, Kirby and Waddle Dee are in that little boat cruising down the river. Do we hate this more or less than the butt spring? This clown egg. For added content, they added the Heart Gold Soul Silver uh, Route 4748 areas west of Cyanwood, plus some new stuff north of Ecrotique. That's really cool. I might have to look into this. That's right, Kirby 64s, refrigerators, and lightsabers, what more do you need? Hello, Wispy, again. What is the best 64 power-up? If you yourselves have played 64. I believe I stated during my stream a bit that I, I like Bomb Cutter. But Cutter Spark is also good. There are some that are, uh, like, fun to use, but aren't necessarily the most tactically advantageous, like Cutter and Ice. Because I just, I love going everywhere on the ice skates. Pew. <laughs> I like how he just kind of shuffled awkwardly left and right real quick as part of his dance. White guy in the club. Fire and Bomb, the fireworks, that's a good one too. Needle Squared's Nightmare Power, like the, the Omni Tool. Oh. No kind, save us from the Neurotoxin. Octopus GLaDOS. You know what portal would be a fun stream someday? Then you don't have to hear me talk myself through all the puzzle solutions. But with how unfocused I am. Someday I gotta play Portal 2's single player as well. My brother and I played through the co-op and loved it. I played as Peabody, the tall, lanky, orange robot. Well, not really orange, but their portals were. And my bro was Atlas. The Curling Stone is another really good one too. Again, not... Necessarily the best combat utility, but by golly, it's fun. Here they are, Princess Pitch. If you weren't here for Mario Golf on Saturday, uh, don't worry about it. All right, I need I need clean. Is there clean somewhere around here? 
Yes. I really gotta pay attention to what um, the heart star du jour is. So I don't go barreling past it like the pink fish again. Portal 2 might be the most fun co-op or uh, Portal 2 co-op might be the most fun you've ever had in video games. It's good stuff, right? My brother and I bonded over it. <laughs> we still call each other Brobot in jest. Lots of really good moments in that game. And I think our our uh, approaches to solving puzzles um, were a good pair. Um, whereas he tends to be really gung-ho and just throw everything at the wall to see what sticks. I'm very methodical and I tend to sit back and think about what I want to do. Um, so they were both, I think, good solutions. I gotta be really careful about this. Because if I mash, I will kill the flower. Uh, pitch giveth life, and Pitch taketh away. Princess Pitch, the op opponent of the good Mecha Santa. I feel like I'm missing some valuable context here. Nothing better than solving puzzles or screwing over your friends. You don't screw each other over, though. Most of the time. Look, sometimes there were accidents. And it was all in good fun, for the most part. Oh, I'm so nervous I'm gonna kill one of these flowers. Ugh. Oh, Pitch has to work really hard to lift Kirby in the air. I wonder how much Kirby weighs. I mean, it feels like the depths of his hunger are boundless. Maybe he's just full of universes, and that's why Pitch can barely lift him. Or he's weighed down by the sins of his past actions. Or maybe Pitch don't even lift, bro. God, look look at Pitch's legs while I run. Also, I saw you, electric fish. You have no bulb. You cannot hurt me. You haven't talked to the friend you played that with in a long time. Oh. Well, I hope you still have the good memories to hold on to. I can't even do the Dynamite Heady voice. You got a secret bonus point because I've never played Dynamite Heady. I've seen the Game Center CX episode of Dynamite Heady, but that was in Japanese. One of these days I should play it. I think I missed out on a lot of interesting games because I never owned a Genesis. I just played a lot of Sonic, courtesy of a kid who did. Okay, this one I need... Parasol and Kine, I believe. Ugh. Bird Bucket. When you played Co-op Portal 2, you discovered a glitch that softlocks the game? You know, I'm almost impressed my brother never did something like that, because he's good at accidentally finding glitches in things. Oops. Do not want the bucket. I need... Oh my gosh. It's golf again! We're never going to escape golf. It's just golf streams all day. Every day. I think I would like to stream more Toadstool Tour on Saturday. If I've got the energy for it. I hope so. Toadstool Tour is not a very high energy game. I can just kind of do that one on autopilot. Leaving Pitch to Drown. Sorry, buddy. You never owned a Genesis either, but you did get to play a bunch of Sonic 3 because you had the CD version. Like, on PC? I had that too! And I think that's why, like, I remember some of the music in the game being different. It's because so I played a lot of Sonic 3 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles on an actual Genesis, but then I got the little, the PC, the CD version. Um, and the music in that one's a little different. I think I'm gonna blame that for like why my memory of Mushroom Hill Zone in particular, like the music of it, was always slightly off for a long time. Oops. But I mean, as long as you got to experience Sonic in some capacity. What is this thing? Oh, I'm, I'm glad I let it be sad long enough so we could see the snot coming out of its nose. 
kind with Parasol is so feeble. He's trying so hard. That probably takes a lot of talent. Is Kirby rotating the Parasol or is Kind doing that with his tongue? Like, is Kind the kind of fish that could tie a cherry stem into a knot? I knew someone in high school who could actually do that. And I didn't believe her. And she's like, no, I got, I got a cherry. I'll prove it. And she could do it. The music for levels 4, 5, and 6 are Michael Jackson music and had to be completely replaced. I've heard that too. And even then, there's still some songs that are really reminiscent of um, the music in uh, Sonic 3. Um, actually, let me do this really quick. There's a song called... What is it called? I think it's called Hard Time. By, I want to say the Jetsons? No relation to the family. Um, let me see. So there's Ice Cap Zone in Sonic 3. I'm just going to play a little bit of the music. Don't DMCA me. Let me just get to the melody. Blah, blah, blah. Do, 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 do. Okay, you hear that melody. And then... And then, let me play some of this. Please don't DMCA me. You hear it? it? Sounds like Ice Cap Zone. Let me go to the chorus. Blah, blah, blah. See? Freaking Ice Cap Zone! I don't- I assume there was, like, some agreement between that band and Sega. Or not. DMCA incoming. Shout out to the time I got, not a copyright claim exactly, but I can't monetize one of my YouTube videos, you know, as if my channel was monetized anyway, um, because I played the intro to the Donkey Kong Country cartoon. Look at this Waddle Dee in this little raft. It's so cute. I'm gonna let you live, buddy. Man, I haven't gotten to go canoeing or kayaking in forever. But it was good times. Not hard times. Good times. Wow. <laughs> Have I heard the Yoshi's Island Enya comparison? Oh my god, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Ooh, nobody saw that. It did get me in trouble. It's just... There was like a little note on the video like, oh, this... This, uh, Nelvana, which is like one of the companies that produced the TV show, owns the rights to this particular song. You know I gotta do it. Fish bulb. So, you know, you either have to mute it or you, you're, if you monetize your video, the ad revenue will go to this company. But that's fine. I'm My YouTube channel's very tiny, so I don't get ad revenue anyway. Everybody come subscribe to my YouTube channel. Oh, I just noticed my eyes are closed. It's because I was typing things in. Oops. Okay, time to pay attention to the eel. You were trying to kill me in Dreamland, too. What happened? I need to look up these combo songs later now. I love a good mashup. Carrie got claimed for a phone ring? I don't remember the, the incident behind that. I think it's this one again? Yeah. You and Not Cube from Live Alive need to get new material, but you're waving so cutely. I wish I could pause it right when the eel is facing the screen, but I don't want to waste everyone's time. Buddy, are you okay in there? I feel like this is a metaphor for something. This is my life, just paddling back and forth in a tiny box, making no headway. <laughs> But I don't think I'm as cute as a Waddle D. That's not self-deprecating. Nobody, nothing is as cute as a Waddle D. Oh, here we go. It's time to be squished. I gotta look up that Yoshi's Island Enya comparison later. I'm particularly curious about also this Rick Astley Darude mashup. I gotta remember to show that to Carrie later. You'll post it at the end of the stream. Thank you. Sand roll. Oh, I'm 
like half reading the chat. Ah, shark, shark. Oh, I'm reading very late. Did did you mean the song say if I could have all the women in the world? I don't know. I I have to say I've never paid attention to the lyrics. I'm just like hey hey ice cap zone. Thank you, thank you eel. Goodbye. Have any of you eaten eel? I've had it a few times. Unagi. It's okay, but it's got a very briny taste. I'm not a big fan of. Okay. So these fourth ones I gotta find something, I think. I was looking at those briefly going, what power do I want? I'm like, that's a silly question. Fishbowl. What's with these sinister faces during the end of level bonus stage? Hey, <laughs> I hope Kirby picks me. <laughs> I don't know what those things are. Maybe their face just naturally looks like that. They can't help it. No. There is only one god, and it is Fishbulb. Get out of here. You've had it in sushi. You don't know how to feel about it yet. I don't mind it in sushi. But again, it's not something I go out of my way for. Oh my gosh. Fish bulb. These doors are all enemies, by the way. Except one of them. Aha. Uh -huh. well, I see you, secret door. Wow, what are those? These, Kirby, are the faces of evil. You must conquer each in turn. <laughs> You've never had anything that's come out of the ocean except for cooked fish. Something about seafood freaks you out. Oh. You're in such a good place to get good seafood, though. But I can understand that. Oh, secret door. Let me in. Oh. Nah. Not even crab or lobster, huh? That's understandable. I haven't actually eaten a lot of fish myself. My uh, mom didn't like fish except for pickerel, which is a kind of white fish. She's, she was okay with like halibut and cod, but um, most fish were a no-go. So I haven't had a lot myself and I'm not familiar, well not familiar, maybe just not comfortable cooking fish beyond like maybe baking it. I'm certainly not gutsy enough to prepare it. Like, just wholesale. I used to live with a roommate, um, ooh, Secrets, who was originally from the Philippines. And she liked cooking fish a lot, and I was always impressed by, like, she could just easily prepare a whole fish. And, like, I don't know what to do with all these bits. I suppose I could learn if I had to. My family's just never really been big into fish, so I never learned. You again. Maybe this isn't like the most effective weapon for this. That's okay, fish ball, fish ball. I don't know if I need this, I'm gonna get it anyway. That looks horrifying. Kine is in so much pain. Like, you can see Kirby protruding. I don't think uh, Kine maybe is naturally producing those spikes, it just maybe. Kirby sticking through his flesh. Frog. Very good. You always just put a fish in a frying pan with some seasoning. That's deceptively simple. Maybe I'm just letting fish wig me out too much, and I should cook fish more often. I guess the other thing is the smell. Or more specifically, the packaging. I've learned any time I've made fish, I have to wrap the package, like, the packaging up separate and dispose of it right away. Because if I put the packaging in the regular garbage, it smells. Everything smells of fish. Captain Stitch is the name of that boss. I did not know the name of that boss. Or maybe it was mentioned in the Dreamland 2 credits. And I forgot, because the only thing I focused on was load kibble. <laughs> 
You're coming with me. You dredge up catfish and fry those bad boys up every so often. I've had catfish before, and like in sandwiches, uh, what do you call it? Catfish po' boy? I had it at this southern restaurant. But catfish is not something really available here. Man, Belle, you're in a place to get some good salmon. I'm okay with salmon. I know it's kind of a polarizing flavor for some because it's very strong. I can't do a lot of salmon, but I like it on occasion. Smoked salmon's good. You know what I haven't had in forever is like a bagel with lox. Ah, but smoked salmon, expensive. Of course, everything's expensive. I bought some chicken today because my dad wanted to use it for a recipe. I hope pitch is in this level. I think so. I feel like I have to use Kine, and then I have to swim against the current to get pitch. But yeah, my dad wanted to use fish in a recipe. Fish? No. Chicken. In a recipe. So I bought some. But it's like $22 a kilogram here. Highway robbery. Okay, I need the, I need the board. Oh, poor boy is Cajun cuisine. Whoops. Cajun. My bad. Do I need this? I don't know if I need this, but it's in a side room. Seems significant. Salmon to be a bit too smoky and chewy for your liking. I think if it's chewy, unless you mean smoked salmon, it's probably not prepared properly. Because uh, salmon should be rich, but flaky. Okay, I gotta get rid of this. Alright, I remember this. Because you need to get kind across, but... It's too wide to get kind through, so I need... Was there rock? Did I pass rock, or is rock on the other side? I have to see. Excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, it shouldn't be chewy. It's like how if you're having fish, it shouldn't smell fishy. Because if it smells fishy, then your fish has gone bad. Oh, smoked salmon. Even smoked salmon I don't think should be chewy. Maybe it wasn't very good smoked salmon. You always cheated this one with two-player? I remember doing that, I think, with my brother before. I really hope Rock. Rock's gotta be in this side somewhere. Excuse me. There we go. Hey, buddy. Maybe sometime in the coming week I will challenge myself to make fish. I haven't really been that creative with cooking as of late because I've been so tired from work. Like, my job is just exhausting. Maybe, maybe on the weekend? I don't know. I feel like on the weekends at least I should challenge myself to cook or bake something interesting. I made banana bread uh, on Sunday, which was delicious. Oh, that's not delicious. Wait, I can't die to these squishies. I need to preserve my fish. Get in there. Get in there. Okay, and now somewhere I have to swim against the current to get pitch. Uh, not here. Bananas browning for banana bread next week. Heck yeah. The place where I work sells banana bread, and it's always a big seller. But I find the banana bread we sell is disgustingly sweet. Why are you so angry, Pitch? I mean, I guess I'd be angry too if I was trapped in this little waterlogged room. Your birthday's in a few days! Oh, happy early birthday, Andorra! I'm sending you, like, a cupcake in spirit. I haven't made them in a while, but I have a recipe for... This is gonna sound really weird, but they're lemon chickpea cupcakes. Where part of the recipe involves pureeing chickpeas in a blender. They've got a really nice nutty flavor. And presumably a lot more protein and fiber than your average cupcake. Sounds weird, I know, but delicious. 
my job's one kind of blows. Does satisfy if you're craving banana bread, but it's not the best. I even, even if I'm craving banana bread, it doesn't do it. Like, I have it, I'm like, ugh, I just, it tastes like sugar. I find a lot of the product we sell tastes of sugar. And yet people want to make it even sweeter. Which is, that's your prerogative, ugh. Get in there, get in there, get in there. I also want to say, um, as an aside, if you're ever ordering at a place that uses any kind of mobile app or like an online service and you go in to pick up your order, um, such as my place of employment, I would recommend, if you can, setting your name to something weird. Because so often we have people just take drinks. And sometimes it's because they have the same name. Like, how many Jeffs and Mikes and Johns and Jameses and etc, etc I see during the day. This bird is huge. My god. This is like the alpha pitch. This is princess pitch. Um... Yeah, say your name is something weird so people are less likely to take your beverage or whatever. It's still gonna happen because people will just be like, Oh, is this mine? Even if they've just ordered and there's a big crowd. Drives me crazy. All of your McDonald's mobile orders show up as Veloxaraptor because you can't figure out how to get it to stop using your email. But it's unique, though. Like... Hopefully nobody is out taking your order by accident. Pitch, you are so slow in the sand. Come on. That's when I sneak in my own banana bread and secretly sell it to customers on the side. Hey, psst. I'm gonna buy some banana bread. And I do it in that voice. Do I want one of these two? I feel bad for Nago after I, like, ditched her behind a pillar. Chickpea brine is an egg substitute, so using them in baking certainly seems possible. What's that stuff called? Aquafaba? But yeah, I've heard aquafaba is a good, like, vegan egg substitute. This one, it's not the brine, though. It's the, um, the chickpeas themselves. You finally dig... D Dick Donald's downloaded the McDonald's app since you moved to a house that has a McD's between it and the rest of the town. You'll be having more of it. Should have done it years ago. You have your name set to your first initial. You don't know what name to set it to. I remember on uh, my previous store, we had someone that around holidays would always... Oh, heck. Maze. Would always change their name, their display name. Not display name. What is this? Splatoon? No, would change their name on the app to something weird and seasonal. Like, Happy Thanksgiving or The Grinch or whatever. Okay, I need to memorize. Okay, up, down. That's good, that's good. This one. Excellent. And I know some people were embarrassed by it. And I remember his wife coming to pick up his order once and she was like, sorry, my husband always sets his name as something weird. And we're like, oh, no, we think it's funny. So please tell him to keep doing it. Just, uh, don't set it as anything rude. I have seen someone set their name as, um, Hugh, H-U-G-S, or, sorry, H-U-G-H, Where, where's my brain? And then J-W-A-N-G. Yes, it's very much like, uh, you know, Bart prank calling Moe's bar. Hello. What are you? You're like a sponge. Given the choices, a McDonald's, Burger King, or Wendy's person, I think that goes to everybody. Probably not really any of them. I'm not, I'm not a, like a, a fast food burg kind of person, so, but if I had to... It's tough. Uh, McDonald's has better coffee than Tim Hortons, I can tell you that much. Yeah, shots fired, I don't care. I can't be stopped. I love how glittery this water looks. 
Probably stings your eyes, though. Come on. Blech. I feel like Wendy's wasn't bad, but I really hate uh, like their all their marketing. All their marketing really gets on my nerves. Like how they're trying to be all hip and trendy meme lords. Like, please, please don't do that. Just sell your sell your middle grade burgs and get out of my face. McDonald's all the way. I don't remember the last time I've been in or around a Burger King. All I know is that their mascot is vaguely disconcerting. You like fast food back when it was cheap. <laughs> A small fry costs like $3.59 and you're just like, what happened to my life? Word up. Everything is so expensive. Ow. Pain. Stop. 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 I'm watching you, Hershey's Kiss of Death. <laughs> Wendy's has good greasy burgers and their chicken nuggets are tasty and you like the Frosties. The Frosties are good. I haven't had one in forever. A lot of the abilities with Nago and Kirby are kind of violent. I mean, like, Nago enacting a violence on Kirby. I think, though, Stone is the worst one, by which I mean the funniest. Nago just takes Kirby and bangs him against the ground repeatedly. I mean, even this probably looks uncomfortable. Oh, or Nago and uh, Spark is a good one, too. Whoosh. You hate the taste of grill or charcoal, so McDonald's is your only burger option. Uh, I do kind of want that Maxim Tomat. Uh, dang it. Carl's Jr. used to have a $6 burger named that way because it's as good as a restaurant burger that would cost $6, but now those burgers cost more than $6. Oh, that's so sad. I have pleased the black creature by building a model of its likeness. I am worshipping a false idol. Hello, Acro. Uh, this is not a good ability for this. Feels a little mean to make the cat fight the underwater boss. Ow. Blah. But I'll stick with it until I die horribly. Forget, can I? Yeah, there we go. Return fire! So I don't think that's how. Oops, killer whale reproduction works. A Waltz roast beef nearby. I'm not familiar with that. Is it uh, like an American or a regional chain? Canadian A&W is the best burgers on the market, no contest. You know what? I haven't had a burg in forever, but I do remember A&W having some decent burg. I don't know how their coffee is, though. Yeah, I don't tend to eat red meat very often. My stomach doesn't like it very much. Every once in a while, though, I'm like, I'm gonna make Berg. Maybe I should make Berg. That's something I could do on the weekends. Oh, uh, yeah, skull. Skull. Oh, come on, Kirby. Uh, <laughs> this is not going well. Maybe if only I had Kine. Oh well. Oh, uh, could you these at least home in on Acro? There. Or I could get closer to Acro. I guess that would be smarter. Ah, jeez. There we go. Love how Acro attacks by spewing its babies at you. One step further than Yoshi. Yeah, Acro skips the middleman. No eggs. Yes, I know Acro is a mammal. Maybe Acro could lay, lay eggs if they wanted to. Come on. There we go. Rock to the back. Five Guys really let you down recently. They used to stuff the cup so full of fries you could eat the whole carton, and then the ones that fell off into the bag would be equal in quantity, but now you just get an average amount of fries. Ow. Cheap it out in the fries. Rude.
You did the best you could, Kirby. Oops. Sorry, Goobert. I can't I can't put Goobert back in the void. Sorry, Gooey. <laughs> I do like how he sticks to the bottom of the warp star though. Gooey doesn't even get shotgun. The animal buddies get shotgun. This seems mean. <laughs> oh <laughs> pedal. Yeah, Chi Chi, you're not fooling anybody. Look at these mushrooms. Ugh, hang on, I gotta I gotta scoot. I'm gonna take a drink of water one sec. You've worked for Arby's for, or sorry, I'm reading this wrong. You worked at Subway for four years and you refused to step foot inside one ever since. That seems sensible. A recovering sandwich artist. I've heard stories about Subway. Oh, right, hang on. Heck, flowers for real this time. Also, this song is like a meme on Nico Nico Doga, which is like Japanese YouTube. I don't know why. People have written lyrics to it. I don't know any of the lyrics, I just know that's a thing. If you're familiar with, like, the big medleys that uh, would show up on Nico Nico Doga, this features in one of the well-known ones. Yeah, heck flowers. For a good cause. Is this song in Kirby 64? No, it is not. This sand canyon. What are you? You kind of look like Kirby wearing... Okay. Kirby wearing, like, a, a pelt. Oh, Animal Buddy? This is the Animal Buddy music. Here we go. How about Rick? Cool. What is kind or kind? What does pitch do with fire? I don't remember. Let's see. Oh, that's it. It looks uncomfortable. Okay, see ya. You've heard it in the Nico Nico medley. That's probably it. Ooh. Kirby doesn't split into three to dance in this game. Appropriate, even though or even though it would have been thematically appropriate. I don't know, budget cuts, I guess. We can only afford one Kirby. The whole budget went to Gooey. I should try and uh, remember to have Goobert Al present for the next boss fight so we can see him dance. By which I mean, I think he just rolls around. He's doing his best. Man, look at the background details. I passed those, like, little flowers. Uh, reeds, whatever they are. Kiny, we're too tall and I'm getting shot. Ow. You were too big and I'm getting shot. Ow. I'm gonna die. Uh, my hamster. My hamster stubbed this tall. That's fine. I didn't need that hamster. The subway you worked at, you could tell many stories if you want to hear about some retail health stuff. Do I? I extend that to anyone, by the way. I mean, as someone who works in a customer-facing job myself. I think it's good to let out a little salt once in a while. But you really, like, lose all forward momentum when you, uh, spit air out. Which I don't think it's like that in, like, 64 and other Kirby's. Ah, why do I keep getting shot? I think currently where I work now, one of the biggest frustrations is that our store is incredibly busy. Like, one of the busiest in the city, I've heard, and I would believe it. Like, during our peak, we do over 100 transactions per half hour. And that's transactions, not items per. So, you know, people come in, like, big groups from their offices and get a lot of stuff. And the problem is that... I feel like it's like people have no object permanence or that they don't understand that it takes longer to make an espresso beverage than it does to just pour someone a coffee or tea and we'll pass out someone's coffee or tea and they'll be like um 
I have three other drinks with this, and that happens all the time, all the time. Or even if they just get espresso beverages, you pass out one and they're like, um, there should be two more with this. Or, um, I had a sandwich. It's like, I, I know, they're coming. Please, we are going as fast as we can. Ugh. Please have mercy. But it's like people don't... And I'm saying people very generally. People don't realize that they are not the only ones present. Do you not see, like, the three dozen other people here waiting for their coffees? It's like, um, I've been here for several minutes already. Where's my coffee? We are going as fast as we can. Your subway was on a college campus, so the only customers you got were... 18 to 21 year olds who are not known for being good customers. Uh oh. And they got upset when you told them the price was $5.40 for the $5 foot long. Have you never heard of sales taxes? Also, look at this cute mushroom. Although you already seem to have like that X squirt in your head. You know, like, you ever see um, pictures of hot pot and whatnot? Is that me or she you're a shiitake mushroom? Gross. I hate shiitake mushrooms. I want this tomat. I want this tomat. Gosh darn it. How often do I get people placing online orders and expecting it done immediately? Not immediately, but people do tend to grossly underestimate the wait time, especially during our peak. Although I think part of the fault is also with the app. Um, the app, I believe, gives like an estimated wait time, but it's hilariously incorrect during our peak. I don't know where it's pulling these numbers from. Like during our peak, it could take like 20 minutes to get your order, depending. Ow, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die sad and alone in this desert. Oh, I need clean, I think. See ya. Gourmet race! Who do I want? Let's get Choo Choo. The bright side to your disability is that you don't have to work standard customer service jobs. Like your previous volunteer job, you know if someone was mean, all the old ladies that worked with you would tell them to piss off. I liked hearing about the old ladies you worked with because they all sounded really sweet. Your soda dispenser is on the opposite side of the counter. People took so much ice that the machine was constantly breaking and you'd have to go around and reset it. Jeez. Would you like some soda with your ice? Some guys who would try and get free fill-ups with cups from other restaurants in the same building as you. Jeez. That's gotta be so awkward to try and stop, too. Like, clearly they've gotta know that they can't do this. So you confront them, and they're like, um, you can't fill up on soda from a cup from, you know, McDonald's or whatever. Uh, yeah, I can. Uh, looks like there should be a door, so, uh -huh. There we go. I need these healing items. I'm going to die. Ugh. Anytime you hear this song, you think of Snoop Dogg. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. That? I know every time 420 rolls around, uh, me and other friends are always finding, like, the goofiest Snoop Dogg video game mashups. It's funny because, to my knowledge, like, uh, none of us smoke weed. We just think the mashups are funny. The, um, the Chrono Trigger one is good. Like the 420 AD or whatever it's called. Because of that beautiful church organ harmony at the end. Look at you! You're so cute. I don't know what you are. You're like a lemon with arms. Doing that underpaid, overworked janitor service job. Wow. That wasn't a door at all. The ones who took the cake were the brazen fools who rolled up with a trash bag and tried to fill that up for their illegal frat boy kegger party. What? So they go to the soda machine 
With a trash bag? I mean, aside from the fact that it's, you know, brazenly trying to get away with free products. A trash bag? How are you gonna transport soda in a trash bag? Are you gonna put, like, a, a giant straw in it? Like, the world's most disgusting Capri Sun? When you work with all women that are 55 to 80, you will have, like, 10 grandmas at once. And they will feed you sweets. Double so because you look like you're in high school. Powerful bell. A guy at your store last week ran out with an enormous duffel bag full of men's underwear. Once outside, he just sat in his car and didn't leave. So you got the cops to pick him up. He was too stoned to drive away. Well, I'm glad he did not try and drive while under the influence. Well, I guess uh, some people get stoned and steal underwear. An altered state of some description. Your job always sounds like hell. And I don't know how you do it. But I feel like that when I hear the stories of anyone else working a customer-facing job. I just- how do we collectively do it without losing our minds? Maybe I need a friendly octopus to sit on my head and pump me full of neurotoxin. Let's make all the pain go away. Kirby can't even breathe right now. Choo Choo is like a pillow gently smothering him. I need that to mot. I need that to mot. This ability is kind of like the ice skates from 64 in that it's kind of difficult to use um, because I can only damage enemies with the back of the broom. But by golly, it's cute. And it's a little more expedient, I think, than just running on the ground. Whack. Your friend did a brief ROM hack of Mario 64 that added a bunch of weed jokes and smoke weed every day. Why? Are you, like, genies or are you dead? Maybe I don't want to know. Smoke weed every day remix of the songs. Incredible. No, oh, there was a 420 stream. Yeah, did they at least try and invite you to their frat boy kicker? <laughs> I mean, at least have some decency if you're gonna steal from the poor, overworked, underpaid subway employee. You got the last laugh, though, after a fashion. The subway eventually got so bad, between bad customers and your coworkers basically phoning it in, the college demanded they close for renovation for a semester. You were one of two remaining employees when they finally shuttered. Although it led to six months of unemployment, which was its own set of horrors. Oh, I bet. But I'm glad you got out of such an awful working situation. Is that even a kegger at that point? Yeah, it's a trash bagger. <laughs> okay, egg. Oh no, it's this- it's this mini game. Oh no, this is the worst one. Alright, everybody. Well, ow, heck. Stop it. When we get to the mini game du jour for this stage. I think we all need to work together to try and conquer it because this is the worst one. If I'm not misremembering, this is Gordo memorization. But it's like, how many of this particular face Gordo appeared and you have a fraction of a second to discern them all? Oh, that's actually, actually made it for a 420 stream. Good. Did he, in fact, stream it on the appropriate day? You've lost your mind already with retail work. You loathe your job and everything about yourself when you're there. Solidarity, Andorra. Solidarity. It feels almost like you're selling your soul, in a way. Like, just having to be so aggressively... ...normal, for lack of a better word. You know what I mean. Like, hiding your passions and interests and hobbies so you can appropriately hobnob with people that you have nothing in common with. Who- people who look at you as if you are less than an insect. It is soul-crushing. Crab, can you not? It is not your time. Aggressively normal, it's a mood right there, right? Right? Yes, I am a person 
who will serve you coffee and will love every minute of it. Oh yeah, I'm passionate about this job. I'm so passionate. Please don't fire me. Please don't fire me. You don't l uh, laugh at weed jokes, but the Drop It Like It's Hot Kirby remix is one of the best things to come out of the thousands web, the aughts web. I don't know how you say that, really. Maybe I should play a snippet of that, but then I'm, I'm like, playing with fire about getting copyright claimed. Maybe after I finish the recording, I'll play a snippet of it. <laughs> you don't mind that part as much as a working for a soulless corporation that does not care about any of us. Oh yeah. Oh baby, I know all about that. It feels like certain employers are getting progressively more evil. Like, more brazenly evil. Of course I'm not naming names because I like to be employed, but you know what I mean. Oh yeah, don't say no problem because that's rude for some reason. Okay, hang on, we gotta- we gotta crowdsource this. Okay, there's five with, like, bug-eyed faces. Right? Okay. Serious time. Okay, four bug-eyed faces. Oh, there's five of them! No! No! Is there a rewind? Is there a rewind? Heck, no. How? Because I'd have to run through the whole level again. When I play this... When I played this on console, how many times have I gone through this darn level? Oh, I don't know if I can rewind. There's probably a way to do it. I don't really want to dig through. No. Oh, I was a fool. Eh. Oh, rewind. Oh, but I have it switched off. Well, I'll come back. I did go too fast. I say crowdsource and then <laughs> I go too fast because I'm like, oh, I got this. It's only the third one I have trouble with. <laughs> oh, I'm sad. Crowdsourcing but not allowing crowds. Hubris. I was done in by hubris. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I deserve this pain and suffering. You remember the middle-aged woman who demanded to be called Miss because ma'am was too old-fashioned? I will say... I don't like it if people call me ma'am, because it makes me feel old. But I get it to a degree, but like saying like no because it's too old-fashioned, that's weird. Oops. And I, I, I get, like, in some places people are probably trained to say sir or ma'am, regardless. Ugh. I know these don't give me any abilities, but I'm eating them anyway out of spite. Look at the face on this thing. Disgusting. College students and Karens. Yeah, how do you keep saying? Yeah, ma'am does feel old, right, Dishol? Unlimited access to fountain soda and the knowledge that sans job, your college loans would crush you. Ugh. And that's why I'm not in... Hello? Hello? I'm not in post-secondary because that's so much money. Nisei mono kabi. Fake Kirby. What does he know? What has he seen? You had it beat into you so hard that you call friends sir and ma'am on accident. Oh no. There is some lady at work who kept calling you honey and sweetie and things like that. And you were running over the store to help them. You loved it. See, if older ladies call you honey or sweetie, that's okay. I don't mind that. Because it's like nice, middle-aged, older lady, like mom or grandma vibes. What are you, like, chewing your cud? Ugh, ugh, stupid egg. Won't even look at me. Um, but if dudes do it, ooh, no, 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 don't, don't do that. Dudes are not allowed to call me honey or sweetie. I get creeped out. All this madness is nine years behind you now. Good riddance. I'll come back to... No, let's just do it now. Let's just do it now. 
wasn't even old, just 20 years older than you, Max. Even then, it's like the older, not old, but older vibe. That's acceptable. For you, you've always found it odd when people call you sir due to you being on the short side and looking deceptively young. My, my whole technique, if you could even call it that, is I don't even bother with sir or ma'am. I know co some co-workers will be like, oh, sir or ma'am or whatever, but I don't. Partially because I don't want to make assumptions about um, anyone's gender identity. Um, even if they look very masculine or feminine, I'm hesitant to do it. But the other reason is <laughs> I don't want to give customers that degree of respect. Like, you, you know, why don't you respect us a little more, and then maybe we'll see. We'll see. Ugh. Crab. This is deceptively hard to aim. Jiku, whatever happened to, like, throwing three feathers in a spread shot? You powered down. Whereas Kine has only gotten stronger with time. You would call kids sir when they ordered stuff. They probably liked that. Maybe it depends on the child, but... It's always nice to be treated with dignity and respect when you're really little. Because it feels like so often people don't take you seriously. Oh, Nex! Hello, Nex! Ain't this game cute? Have you played Dreamland 3 before? I'm not sure. As a guy, you like that kind of talk because you don't have to deal with it constantly like you imagine women do. I think it depends where it comes from. Yeah, as long as people aren't being pervs about it. Time and place. I gotta read the atmosphere kind of thing. Please. Please, there we go. Oh, you have at home, not just at a kiosk. I would like to hear your story. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Why don't I do a save state here? And I hope you don't find that a little lowly of me. But I think just in case the worst happens, we don't have to redo the whole level. Just for the sake of timeliness. Okay, I counted seven. What about the rest of you? I know. Save state. Keep away. In 2015, the company you were working for slowed down to a complete halt. Your hours were cut from full to part time and then down some more. Oh no. <laughs> a repeat of the cannon incident? No, no. See, that, that was funny. This is just miserable. Having to do the whole stage again if I screw up? You know how many times I've run through this stage on the Super Nintendo? I think there was three, because one of them had a different face. You rented this one several times. You enjoyed it, but also owned Superstar, which is very different and better to Baby Nex's mind. Yeah, I borrowed this and Superstar from... Or at least, yeah, I think borrowed both of them from my cousins. But I always preferred Superstar. And I like this one, but I think this one took more getting used to because I played Superstar first. And Superstar is faster paced. I think there's either five or six. I didn't see what the top right one was. The art style is very cute. Five? We got two fives? <laughs> Several question marks? Yeah, that's how I feel. Look how eager the stupid egg looks. It's like, eh? Eh? Five? Yay! We're free! We have won the egg's approval. Will he look at me? I'll see if he looks at me at the end. He's not looking at me there. Ow. Heck. 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 I'm gonna lose my bird. Good freaking riddance. I appeased the egg. I did what I had to do. <laughs> a 
If only this egg fell off a wall instead of Humpty Dumpty. Not before it gives me the heart star. Then it can die. For all I care. Ugh. Wait, the range in that is really short if I'm not already running. Oop. Eventually you were laid off, which, oops, <laughs> which happens to people, but the way you were laid off crushed you. I really hope they didn't do it in some, I'm watching you, fake Kirby, like some really horrible, impersonal way. Or like in front of other people, that would be even worse. As much as I gripe about my job, I am grateful to be employed and have a regular paycheck. It's just, it's soul-crushing sometimes, and the physical and emotional strain of it gets to be a lot. Like, I'm in so much pain when I get home. You left the office one day, came back about a week later for your next work day, and they closed the office entirely and moved out. What the heck? That's awful. Egg will not even look at me. You got ghosted by a job once. Like... You were sick, so they took the you took you off the schedule for your shifts that weekend and just never scheduled you again. That's so scummy. I will never get the Tamad. Your company doesn't fire people; it just stops scheduling them. Ugh. Probably so they don't have to pay severance. I bet that's it. Because if you fire someone, and I think I mean I don't know what it is in the states, but I think here legally, you need a really good reason to fire someone. You know, aside from like a the three-month probationary period, or however long it is. But if you just stop scheduling someone and they quit of their own volition, well, then that's on them, right? No unemployment needed. Boosh. You called up boss man to confirm there was no work and you were told, yes, it's over. Oh, that's so awful. I'm so sorry, Darth. Jeez, some people in business are just... I don't want to say evil, because it sounds like I'm talking about it in a very childish way, but unethical. No morals. It's awful. Who do I want? Ham? That's so cute. I'm going to take the snow cone hamster. In most states, you can just fire someone whenever you want for no reason. What the heck? Now that I think about it, I think that came up in an earlier stream, and you or someone else told me that. It's just... That's awful! I remember hearing about... Um, people working for this company... I didn't miss, like, a door or anything, did I? No. Being caught off guard because corporate closed a store that was underperforming. And didn't tell them! They just tried to go to work one day and like, oh, uh, sorry, store's closed. You know, and that's not the first time they've closed stores with very little notice to the employees. Um, ooh, excuse me. I know someone else um, that I had worked with worked at a store and they said, we closed and they didn't tell us we were going to close, but we knew they were going to close us. I just have to hope that I go the right way for the hard star. Um, but yeah, we knew they were closing us because all the other stores in the district got, like, new fridges, and we didn't. So we knew, oh, our time is up. But, like, no communication. Why would you do that to your workers? At will employment. Yeah, that's so awful. Illegal nationwide to fire someone for being gay or for their politics or race. Well, that's something. Although, I wonder how many employers do it anyway, but then just uh, obscure their reasons for it. Ow! I was, I was a snow cone. You can't do this to me. I hope this is the right door. Okay. Ow. You know, this broom may not, or rather this snow cone may not be the most... <laughs> Yeah. May not be the most effective tool to fight this happy-go-lucky broom. 
Don't sweep at me. Ow. Blah. Blah. That's impressive you ate all that, Rick. You confuse it for right to work all the time. Uh, because, or rather, it's... Uh, it, that's about not having to pay union stuff. At the absolute bottom, about $400 away from personal ruin. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I'm glad you got out of that. Man, it's so skeevy. It's just getting rid of people with no notice or anything. Like, again, I'm probably... I'm too soft-hearted for the world of business. Because I just... I can't imagine doing that. I think I'm too soft-hearted for a lot of things. I, I genuinely can't wrap my head around why people would be bigoted, racist, homophobic. Like, in the abstract, I get, you know, people with, you know, religious or conservative backgrounds or whatever, but from a broader, more childish perspective, it's like, I don't understand. You know, it costs zero dollars to not be horrible to someone. And yet, and yet, and yet... Oh, it's more about, please don't unionize and use your power. Well, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Ugh. I think these characters from another HAL game. But I don't know their names off the top of my head. I've read them before. I like how much they stand out in comparison to the art style in the rest of this game. Give me the tomato! Uh... Oh, they have a trophy in Melee! Gosh, you know, I completely forgot. Do you remember their names, Andorra? Look at this little, like, Choo Choo's sister or cousin or whatever in a little bonnet. Wait, they're Pocky and Rocky? No, they're not. Rock Rocky's a Tanuki. Yeah? What's that game called in Japanese? Kiki Kai Kai? Bush, bush. <laughs> they're not Pocky and Rocky. <laughs> okay, good. I thought they're not Pocky and Rocky. That can't be right. From an adventure game in the Famicom. Oh, more interesting stuff we never got here. Oh no, I don't need that. What am I doing? I'm gonna die to get it. A Game Center CX episode with them? Oh man, I wonder if I've seen it. I haven't seen every Game Center CX episode, but I've seen a lot of them. Uh, that's why Mario Party games consider Bowser spaces to be bad. That's right, Bowser Revolution! Bowser Communism! I don't like Bowser Revolution because it feels like more often than not I lose money. When I don't lose money, though, it's great! All hail... Uh, Karl Marx Koopa Jr. Adventure game of the Famicom mystery type. I've seen a few of those streams. Hello, Choo Choo. I can't remember the names of any of them, though. I remember there was, oh, uh, like a Famicom. Uh oh. Hopefully, I can get back in the room and get Choo Choo. Let me in, let me in. There was some Famicom game. I want to say it was called Oishinbo. And it was about, I guess it was based on a manga about some gourmand having to make craft meals for like these stupid, unreasonable rich people. Like some rich guy complaining about, oh, this food, this rice isn't perfect. Whatever, you know, rich people problems. But all the, the bad ends in that game are very silly. What's in here? Healing items? Oh, it's powers. Well, I know I'm gonna have to climb on some ceilings. Ideally, I would get uh, clean, but I don't have clean. But fire will work. Oh, there's right there. Let's see if I can... Eh, thank you! We almost got the first mother game back in the day. Really? I didn't know that. 
I mean, I'm glad we got it eventually, but I don't- I keep thinking one of these days I should try playing the first mother. But then I think about how it's apparently very grindy and gets very unbalanced near the end. I mean, I guess at least the uh, Switch Virtual Console has, you know, rewinding and save state, so if a battle goes south... Although maybe it's like Earthbound. Earthbound, like, if you die, there's not really a big penalty. You lose money, and you have to pay to revive uh, whoever's dead. But generally, like, you, you keep your experience and all that, so you're not losing progress. Excuse me. Prototype got found and dumped onto the internet back in the day as Earthbound Zero before finally being released. Oh, you know what? Now that you mention that, yeah. Oh, I guess I, I can't use clean. I gotta get cutter. I remember encountering that and thinking it was a fan translation. Oh, Earthbound's anti-piracy measures are hysterical. Um, for those of you not aware, Earthbound has some infamously aggressive anti-piracy measures. Um, including making the encounter rate unreasonably high, um, as well as making you encounter enemies that you normally wouldn't find in, like, early parts of the game. And then finally, when you get to the final boss fight, the game freezes, crashes, and then when you reload, all of your save data is gone. It's evil. I love it. I think it's very funny. Oh, these things, these things. No, the Hershey's Kiss of Death. What am I gonna do? If I attack it, I fall. Okay. Is it gonna respawn? Yes. Heck, 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 heck. The penalty is the same. Incredible. You cannot grasp the true form of Gygus' attack. Oh, it's dead. Maybe they stay dead. Ugh. Ugh. Get these little cotton balls out of here. I wonder if ice is easier to use with Choo Choo. I don't remember. Snowballs. Yeah, why not? Pew, pew, pew. You'd legit love a hard mode of Earthbound that's just the anti-piracy stuff without murdering your save at the end. I mean, think of how powerful you'd get if you could survive. If they really wanted to be evil, they would make, like, every early encounter an enemy that explodes. Like, the trees. Or those spheres. Genuinely, I think, like, the hardest parts of Earthbound are when you're just Ness by himself. Trying to get to Peaceful Rest Valley. I think I talked about this in an earlier stream not too long ago. Because of the dang, the territorial oaks that explode. And just some of the enemies in the area move really quickly, so it's easy to get attacked from the back if you're not careful. You can trigger some of them by putting your game in slightly lopsided. Oh, I love that. So long as you don't get the, uh, the save data erase. Oh, the department store. Oh, yeah, and Foreside, that's also tough with just Ness and Jeff. Yeah, the department store enemies are really tough. Why do I feel like the scalding cup of coffee was bad? Moonside itself isn't bad, and one of my favorite parts of the game. Oh, no. Oh, I know getting the heart star here is convoluted. The Oaks, the Cops, and the Yes Men Jr. I love the music here, though. It was one of my favorite tracks in the game. It just has this wonderfully melancholy, forlorn sound to it. Like, spacey and strange. And a little lonely. Whoosh. I think it only plays here, but I might be wrong. I know Nintendo's Twitter a little while ago linked um, a concert performance um, that involves some Kirby music, including this song. I remember hearing it. Yes, this looks like the Pyramid in 64, doesn't it? But I remember hearing them play stuff from Kirby Streamline 3, and I'm like, oh, please play Sand Canyon 3, please play Sand Canyon 3, and then they did. And, well, internally, I was like, yo! Externally, I was quiet, because I'm a quiet person, but internally, I was like, yo! Do I like Moonside, Side Moon, Demon Moonside, Mori? Welcome to Moonside, welcome to Moonside, welcome to Soonmide. Okay, okay. 
Trying to get the heart stars here sucks. Ugh. I think, okay, my abilities are in here. Let's see if I can remember what I need. I know for one of them I need, I think, Kine and Parasol. I think I can get animal buddies at the bottom here. Ow, thank you. I'm gonna freaking die. Maybe I should just take the death and then respawn with full health. And me. Thank you. Oh, that's right. I didn't say no. You're right. You're right. I'm so sorry. Everything on Moonside is reversed. <laughs> Moonside is my least favorite place in the game. Back in the day, PC games had some anti-piracy stuff, like demanding you answer some questions from the manual. Yeah, I remember stuff like that. I was too young to have played games that had those kind of uh, copy protection measures, but I've read about a bunch of them. Like, feelies. Back in the day when games came with feelies, and you'd have to, like, get some intel from the manual. Okay, now where do I actually need to take Kine? I think it's either the bottom right or the bottom left. I'm such a poser. Fake fan. Whoosh. Uh, get up there. Good job, buddy. Yeah, only for the internet to render those kinds of measures completely moot. Yeah, here we go. Very good. And then, uh, the one I should have done first is on the left side, I believe you need Koo and Rock. But it's a little tricky to do, and it's easier with two players because there's star blocks you have to fall through with stone, but you can't accidentally kill yourself on the end. Um, but it's easier if you have a second player. Um, because, uh, they can break the rocks and fall through the- through the floor, and if they die, it doesn't matter. Goobert, I need you. I don't need you, Kine, actually. I wonder if I can coerce Goobert into, uh, getting rock. If you just got here, I know his name is Gooey, but I like to call him Goobert. We're pals, aren't we, Goobert? That's right. Okay, I don't think I can coerce him into picking up an oops, picking up an ability. I don't even need rock and two player Gooey, what are you doing? Thanks, Gooey. You gonna Alright, never mind. You're gonna get yourself killed. You just have Gooey hold your partner and warp drag him through the hole. My god. Things are so much easier when you have friends or siblings who will play with you. Unlike the last star drop in Kirby's Dreamland 2, this one actually gives you some hints of what you need. What are you doing, Gooey? I was thinking about that when I got the last star drop and how you mentioned you had to call the Nintendo Switch hotline. Oh no, I did it! Oh, uh, look at Gooey, he's having a great time. Heck. Heck. But yeah, it took me a bit to figure that one out. And then I had an epiphany with my most favorite ability combo. All hail fish bulb. Uh, I could do the thing and like get uh, control the second player um, with the keyboard. I mean my Super Nintendo. <clears throat> and then warp drag out gooey and coo through there but no i'm gonna do it the the old fat the painful way the old-fashioned painful way bush you recently read somewhere or you rather you read somewhere that computer controlled gooey will never actually swallow an enemy to gain its power um either due to a glitch or malicious coding well that explains some things No. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I don't need rock over there, do I? I don't remember. I'm scared. Ugh. Uh, yeah, I was scared I was gonna destroy myself there. Okay. Okay. 
I don't remember if I need rock. I don't think I do, but I'm going to keep it just in case. Okay. Actually, you know what? I think for this one I need Fishball My Beloved. The problem with the second players being unique characters is it always wanted- it always made you want to play as them instead. Why can't I play as Gooey and Kirby be the second player of the struggle? That's how I felt about the helpers in Superstar. Because I was always Kirby since my brother was younger. And when we played Superstar, um, not as coordinated with games. Bro, if you're listening or you watch this at a later date, this is not at all a knock against you. This is just, you know, when you're small, not, do not have finely honed motor skills. So I was always Kirby, um, just because, you know, if you die as the partner, whatever, but if you die as Kirby, that's it, man, game over. So I didn't really get to experience playing as the helper for a long time. Just like with the Evil Bottles co-op feature that was removed from Banjo-Tooie, I remember... I've talked about it on stream before, there was a website called the Rare Witch Project that posted stuff like that. Like, um, the stuff that was dummied out, like the Evil Bottles mode. Is this- okay, I think this is where I need Fishbulb, my beloved. There we go. Um, or like the- the cheats you needed to, uh, get the ice key and all the stop and swap stuff. Stop and sw- in- stop and swap stuff in Banjo-Kazooie. And I remember thinking, that can't be real, but they are. I tried them all. The codes were extremely long and convoluted. And unlike the legitimate codes that Cheeto gives you, there's no indication that you're punching in anything correctly when you're inputting them in the sandcastle. I'll take that. Thank you. The game was Shin Onigashima. I'm gonna have to go look that up later. Game over, yeah! <laughs> okay, one of these... I might get squished. Oh god, is it the same as the last one? I wasn't paying attention. Heck. I'm just gonna have to memorize it. Well, except it was the center one, wasn't it? Hmm. Is there a way to tell, or do I just memorize? Okay, left. I don't know, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? Okay, let's try left again. Why do I feel like I need to know these from somewhere? Let's go right. Save me, plunger. Oh, wait, no. <sighs> eh. There we go. The helper you least understood since they were more limited. Gooey basically being Kirby with a Yoshi tongue. They're dark matter. I don't even know if I'm going the right directions. I guess we'll find out. Let's go right again. Blech. Fish cube! What if it's the center one this time? What if it's- no, I have to go in one of the side ones, because the middle ones are always wrong. And I need a helper to open some of them because Kirby by himself can't do it. I don't want to accidentally jump through the middle there. There we go. Oh, I needed to go through the middle for the last one. Or can I? No, okay, we're good, we're good. That's right, it's the red ones I can't pass through. Did I ever play the semi-recent release of the Famicom Detective Club games in English on the Switch? I did not. Um, I was curious about them, but I tend to get, I don't know, bored with visual novels? I love to read, but something about visual novels, I get really restless playing. I don't know why. I always find the stories interesting, but the actual playing them... I did really enjoy Valhalla, the bartending game, but I think A, I'm not compelled to try multiple dialogue paths because there's only the one, 
and it's not like you have to go look, touch, pick up, take, smell, whatever. Okay, here's here's where I get squished. Ugh. Kind may not be the best choice for this, but that's okay. Oh, get, get down there. Get down there. Get down there. Get down there. Ah, uh, no. Ah. Did I get all the bits? I don't seem to recall hearing the confirmation noise. Hang on, I'm just gonna make a save state again, just in case I've forgotten something and I don't have to do all that again, because doing all that again sucks. Sorry. Or maybe the last one is up ahead. The story was interesting, but it was very do absolutely every action several times in every screen. Exactly my problem with that kind of game. Visual novels need to do the text appearing voice blips, or you literally cannot read. See, I like the Ace Attorney series, but I guess that kind of, again, oopsie, that kind of doing repetitive actions just to figure out, like, what wizardry will trigger the story to move ahead. I just don't have the patience for. It's like, I've said before, my favorite game that I've never played is Snatcher. Because I like the story, and I like Metal Gear. But the actual gameplay, I don't have the patience for. Because again, it's that, you know, look at, speak, talk, or speak, touch, take, etc, etc. And some screens, you gotta do it several times to figure out how to proceed. I, I want to play the Game Center CX games. I might <coughs> emulate um, the first one. I've heard, I think there's a fan translation of the second one. I don't know what to do about the third one, though. Kine, you are killing me. You are killing us both, Kine. Kine, you're tearing us apart. Why can't I quit you? There is a translation of the second. Okay, that was my fault. I jumped into that shot, so full tilt. You like Snatcher, Endora? There we go! I did it! It's Rob and the little professor from Gyromite. I've seen Gyromite featured on Game Center CX briefly. It looks like such a slog to play. And apparently, Rob himself is incredibly fragile. I got my Demod. Yeah, there's a third one on the 3DS. Um. But yeah, I seem to recall them saying that they went through two robs and were hooking up the third one very gingerly because they're so fragile. But yeah, are you familiar with Snatcher Endora? Also, hello, bro. Welcome. Earlier, I was reminiscing about our good times playing Portal 2 co-op. Ow. You know what? Heck this fish. No, I'm sorry, Kine. I, I, I take it back. I love you, Kine. But you're a little hard to maneuver. Well, that's right. I wanted to make Gooey so I could see if Gooey dances for us. Come on, Gooey. Don't die before I kill the boss. You know what? No, let me let me just absorb Gooey and then I'll I'll make Gooey. before we beat the boss. Are you, you good, Kine? You good? Blech. At time for the Tomna Crazy Red business merger everyone's been, been waiting for. I've seen so many people joke in New Horizons that Tom Nook and Crazy Red are bitter exes, and I think that's hilarious. And why that would explain why like there's always so much animosity between them. Okay, come on, Goobert. Oh, what? Where's the big boy? Don't lick me. You have to sign a waiver to do that. Stop! Psst. This won't hurt Gooey, will it, if I spit him at the boss? <laughs> I guess it did. Sorry, Gooey. Oops. Oh. Come on. No. Oh, I'm gonna die. Thank you, Gooey! Okay, you gotta do a dancer as Gooey.
MVP GUI. The final critical hit. What if he smashed our faces together? Exactly, bro. Portable joke. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Worth it. Yeah, I guess you can come too. I think it would be mean if I left Kine here in this desert. Gooey with the clutch! I think I'll do a little bit more and then I should call it an evening, as loath as I am too, but I have to leave like 5.30 in the morning for... for work. <gasps> Ditched! Ditched! Oh, So weird to look back on Rob and the whole way they marketed the NES in North America. What was Rob called in Japan? Just robot? It might have just been robot. Kind left behind to become dried fish. There's the smoked salmon we were talking about. Don't you love work? Ugh. <laughs> You're late to the boat, Gooey. You know what, Gooey? You can stay until you die. That sounds really horrible. I'm sorry. You know what I mean. You can stay until you bumble into something and perish. Swaddle D is my friend now. Oh, friendships never last, do they? <laughs> oh, Cosmo just walked by. Oh! <laughs> I looked at my cat. Worth it. Worth it. Cosmo is a surprisingly good boy when it comes to me streaming. He doesn't interrupt me streaming. He will bother my dad if my dad is at the desk, but not me. Sometimes he should come and say hello to you all, though. Maybe he's shy. Blah! Here comes the boy! Okay, hamster? Oh, that's it. Hamster! So if I did hypothetically stream a Hamtaro game someday... Scarfy! Would people rebel and be like, Ugh, baby game. But look, the Hamtaro games are surprisingly good. At least the first couple are. And Rainbow Rescue was cute too. And Ham Ham Games is alright. I haven't played any of the ones after that though. I think the ones they made after ugh, are like more more baby for a baby audience. What was what is the heart star requirements for this one? Oh actually no, I think it's Rick that I need. Not Nago. I'm gonna keep the hamster. Excuse you, bro, it's go, dash, and then just the letter P. <laughs> In both Hamtaro, Ham Ham Heartbreak, and Hamtaro, Ham Hams Unite, so there's Ham Chat, which is like cutesy hamster words, meaning different things, and you have to learn different Ham Chat words throughout the games, which each coincide with a specific action like tack q t a c k dash q which is to tackle or ham ha which is hello um in both ham ham heartbreak and ham hams unite there is a command go dash p which is exactly what it sounds like and in both games you have to use it to solve a puzzle Bless hamster games. Really hope I don't die and lose my ability. Because I think, if I'm not misremembering, this is what I need to get the heart star here. Whoopsie. Fake Kerbo again. <gasps> Run. Run. Oh. We'll never know his true fate. Does that puzzle involve plants and or humiliating your enemies? Um, well, maybe not enemies. Not humiliating. Well, I guess you'll just have to wait and see for whenever I stream it. It's been too long since I've done a game where I've gotten to do voice acting, so 
Maybe that'll be a good candidate for it. I want that to mod. I do not want to get shot. That shot so is off the screen. It doesn't exist. The first level in Indiana Jones' Greatest Adventures. They're really trying to tempt me with other animal buddies, but I'm pretty sure it's Rick I need. Actually, I think Koo also works. I think. In fact, in retrospect, Koo may be safer. But we'll find out. Briefly, I was like, the rock goes over this, right? The rock does not go in the hole. If the rock went in the hole, that would be a problem. Get in there. I love how flat Rick looks. Like, you ever see a photo, a photo of a hamster just... What do they call that? There's a word for it. Sploot? Splooting? Or they just become a pancake? It's good. I could never keep hamsters, partially because of how short-lived they are. I would be too upset. And also, I would be petrified of injuring it because they're so tiny. And also, you know, I have cats. I've always had a cat around. And that and hamsters would not be kosher. Even if I kept them carefully separated, like, I wouldn't want the cat to be in the same room as the hamster. Staring. Watching. Waiting for their opportunity. Okay. Okay, here we go. I gotta be careful. Bronto Bert, can you thank you? Okay. Ugh. Okay, there we go. We're in business. I'm so afraid I'm gonna step on them. Or like accidentally dust them a little too much and then they collapse. Flowers very frail. Do that. I believe Ku also works because Ku and Clean is a feather duster, except Koo is the duster. Oh, scary. Yeah. Please don't squish. Okay. Abandoning Kine after he risked his life in the desert for me. Look. Oh, I almost I almost double clean that one. Like if I could clean, if I could dust flowers with a plunger, then we'd be in business. Oh, I don't think I hit that. No. Ugh. Uh. This is so mean with these clefts. Oh, do I have to go back around the other side? No, we're okay. Ugh. Ugh. But you know what? I've never tried to use Kine and his plunger on these flowers. Maybe it works. Maybe I just plunge the dust off. Ugh. <sighs> You know what I've long wondered in this level is if I clean all the flowers and I get the level... Actually, you know, I have save states. Let's find out. I have the level clear jingle. Or rather, the heart star get jingle. What if I squish the last one? Will it... Heck, flowers. <laughs> Will that rescind my heart star because I've killed their young? Yep. <laughs> Now I know. Curiosity sated. I had to know. There we go. The flowers got janky hurt boxes. This is true. Oh. Gotcha. Okay. Whoosh. Yeah, I'll take it. Let's do one more and then I'll call it an evening. It's so hard to stop because I like this game and it's cute. Okay, I need to bring some ability to- what is this, a chicken? Oh, I don't remember what I need here. Mmm. What do I need? Ow, for chicken. I have a weird feeling that it's Parasol again, like this. Even though we already did Parasol for the egg. But I genuinely do not remember. I guess we'll find out. Hello, friends. Goodbye, friends. 
Hopefully I don't need one of you, and if I do, eh, I'll get to you on Friday, or whatever. I don't know if I'll do more, meh, more of this on Friday, or like, I don't know, Splatoon or Mario Kart or something like that. I'll think about it. See what I'm in the mood for. And then, if I have the energy, I'd like to do a little more golf on Saturday. I had more people tune in for golf than I thought, which I thought would be zero, because I didn't advertise it. It's just like, well, I'm too out of it to do the Mario Strikers first kick. You know what? Even though I couldn't stand the music in the, the demo tutorial, I do have to give them props for having a character- Oh no, my parasol! Oh well, if I needed it, whatever. Props for having a character named Footbot. Footbot. It had the accented U. <sighs> I'm so scared I'm gonna just fall. Hard to see the gaps in the clouds. Get up there, Rick. Blech. You will never not hear Frere Jaca during that music. Which music? Oh, I'm scared I'm gonna die down here. Blah. Blah. Yeah, that's what I think of you, Hershey's Kiss Down. Blah. Oh, after every level. You mean the, um, the goal music? Like what I'm doing the little, the goal game? Kirby's obligatory goal game? It's weird, I'm trying to remember the melody for Frere Jaca, and I'm... Like, I can get, like, a couple notes in, and then I blank on it. I'm gonna lose my hamster. We had some good times together, Rick. I'll always remember you as being a champion at splooting. I hope that's the right word for that. Get up there, get up there, get up there, get up there. Whoops. On the level select? What was... What was the, uh, the Snoop Dogg Kirby mashup I was gonna play after the stream? It was the Kirby one. Oh, there was more than one Kirby one. Pop it like it's hot! That was it. Hi, Jacob! <laughs> Sorry you came just for that. Well, let's hope I don't need Rick. I genuinely cannot remember what ability combination I need for the Heart Star in this level. Uh, what if it is gonna be Rick? I mean, not just that I recently lost Rick, my hamster is recently deceased, but it's a pain in the butt. Oh, I need Cutter! That's what I need. Oh. Welp. Man, that's mean. And now do the whole level again. Man, Cutter was right there. Cutter was right there. And I'm like, no, I'm on fire. I'm good. Sorry. Sorry, ma'am. Oh my god, you're right. Yeah, now I'm I'm hearing it too. The Frere Jaca. Yeah, it's not like rope can be burnt or I can heat the balloon enough that it pops. Maybe it's made of titanium. Ow. It's just like me grazing the cup in Mario Golf. Oh heck, let's do one more. What is the mini game for this one? Something else I have blocked from my memory, surely. I don't think it's as bad as Gordo counting. That was the worst one. What if the chicken gets burned too? Well, it shouldn't have clung to that balloon so tightly. In fact, why do I have to pop the balloon? It is the chick itself that is keeping itself tethered. Little birdie, you are the master of your own destiny. You are keeping yourself imprisoned. Free your mind, and the rest will follow, or however that song goes. Ugh. There's a certain cameo in this game. Oh ho! I know exactly what cameo you are talking about. Uh, I think it's on uh, the last world, unfortunately. So not tonight. 
But I know what cameo you were talking about. Ow. Kirby's allegory of the balloon, exactly. It's like it's like the Waddle Dee that was trapped in that little hole, rowing endlessly. I earned the heart star by giving the mother the gift of fried chicken. Oh no, well maybe she's hungry. And who am I to judge? Ooh. What are worse? The stages out in Donkey Kong Country, the first one with the barrel, like so many barrel cannons. Oh, do three, four, five, six. There's six yellow, I think four red. Okay. Um, hang on. What's more annoying? The. Barrel cannon stages in the first Donkey Kong Country, or the minecart stages in the first Donkey Kong Country? You counted four yellow? Does anybody else have a, a, a verdict on this? Chickens can be vicious, you know? That's what I've heard. Kirby might eat the fried chicken. <laughs> well, you're not gonna get a lot of fried chicken out of one chick. Well, let's just gun it. Oh, no. Ugh. Well, guess what stage I have to do again? Why are you shaking your head at me, little tricolored blob? Am I not good enough for you? We were both wrong. If we just combine our answers into one, then maybe. <laughs> Blah. What day is your birthday, Andoro? I'm very bad at remembering dates. So if I you tell me and I forget, I apologize. But then we'd have ten? No, 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 we're averaging out the totals between them. It's fine. That's how statistics work, right? Yeah, I used to know how to do things like calculate percentages and whatnot off the off the cusp, and I've forgotten all of that. The eleventh. Oh right, I was gonna jump triumphantly to get the heart star, but what are you looking at me for? Stupid judgmental blob. I have disappointed the primary color man. Why did I do that? What was I even going for? I have a friend now. Oh, that's really bothering me. I'm going back. I'm going back. Mori, weren't you gonna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you have to go to... Yeah, I have to go to bed. But this is haunting me. At least let me get one of these. These two heart stars. Goomba, stop the reward giver. It's what they deserve. He's really judging me now. With that blank face of his. Who knows what horrible things he is thinking. The primary color man. Ugh. Blah. Okay. Uh, what was in here again? Animal buddies? That's right. <laughs> Something about them unceremoniously dropping into the water is funny to me. Like, they can't already be sitting in the water. No, they have to fall from above. A divine hamster descends from the sky and choo-choo, I guess. I don't think I even knew what choo-choo was for the longest time. Honestly, I can't even say for sure she's an octopus. That's just... I don't know if that's official or what I just decided at one point. I'm gonna die and lose my fish. No, I won't. Yes, I will if I don't get this. How is fire working underwater? Well, Kine just believes really hard in the power of himself. And also, neither Kine nor Kirby understand physics. Okay, okay. Three red, four yellow. I didn't count the blue. Of course it's the freaking blue. Oh. 
anybody count the blue? Maybe I'll save state again just to save time. Anybody count the blue? <laughs> Four? Somewhat obscure Namco arcade game called Fozon and Primary Color Man reminds you of an enemy in it. I wonder if Primary Color Man and Particle Man know each other. How many Gordos are there in total? That I'm not even sure of. And there's a couple gray ones mixed in there too, is the problem. There we go. But he only ever asked the primary colors. Okay, two yellow, four red. I think there's five blue. Yeah? I hate these stupid mini games. Five. Because if you screw up, you gotta do the whole stage again. Okay. Oh! I counted the blues. I'm not sure if there's four or five yellow. Five? There are actually a bunch of Gordo cores that shed their spikes and merged. Oh god, horrifying. Five? Alright, five. Yay! Thank you! We did it, everyone! We have defeated Primary Color Man and won his approval. I can't jump in these rooms or do anything but hover around uselessly. I can't even smack him on the top of his round head. Good job, everybody. They're like Magneton, clearly. So when do they evolve into a flying saucer? I had a Magnezone on my diamond team. Sometimes. The sixth slot on my team rotated between Horatio, my Magnezone, and Zoe, my Toxicroak. Although Zoe was a little more effective than Horatio, because at least at the time in Pokemon Diamond, uh, Magnezone did not have a very good move pool at all. And no type coverage except for uh, Steel and Electric. You know, unless you got a good hidden power type, but I don't, I don't like EV train and try and get like the ideal hidden power on my Pokemon. I don't have the patience for that. I'm not a competitive battler. There we go! The primary colored man, you still lost. In the game of life, you still have far to go. Bleh. This game is harder than it has any right to be, but it's not Dreamland 2. Thank God. I did enjoy Dreamland 2, but whoa, Nelly. The anguish, the suffering, it was funny though. Okay, little tangerine friend must wait for next time because I do have to go to bed. I have to get up early in the morning. Yeehaw, pray for Mari. I'm going to stop the recording here. So if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to the next part of Kirby's Dreamland 3. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a wonderful evening, and I'll catch you next time.